Well, Detroit is famous for its music and cars and food and whatnot, but you may not realize it also has quite a legacy when it comes to professional theater. Yeah, you've very much likely heard of The Fisher, but there are other small professional theaters making big waves in Detroit with first-class performances. We are joined by Molly Smith Metzler, an award-winning playwright whose play is showing at the Detroit Public Theater, and it will be especially touch the lives and hearts of women everywhere, right? I think so. I All hope right. so. <laughs> yeah. Very excited. Well, welcome to Live in the D. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. So give us the background. Tell us, tell us all about it. Uh, so Cry It Out is a comedy. Uh, it's about a, new, a set of new parents living in a suburban town in Long Island where there's a lot of class difference within the town. So you have like wealthy, wealthy people and l less fortunate people. Uh, so it's a little bit about the socioeconomics of being a new parent and those choices you have to make. But at its, at its heart, it's really about you know, the hot mess of maternity leave in this country and all the humor that comes with it and all the heart and our need to connect and make mom friends. <laughs> Definitely. There is a real need to connect for new moms. They feel isolated. Yes. Oh, so you delve into this. What is your inspiration for this play? It is that very thing. I had a baby and ended up living in, this, in a town where I didn't have any friends and my husband was at work all day with the car and I was home alone trying to figure out what my identity was and you know the experience of having a baby really cracks you open in every way and I was desperately lonely until I found another friend and so I think it's sort of a love letter to to friendship between new moms um, and I was very inspired to also talk about sort of how painful and difficult these decisions are in this period in our life and I don't think it's on stage enough mm. um, new new moms and new dads it's a topic we should be talking about with a lot more empathy yeah, and in the mainstream, because I the think mainstream. amongst women, you talk about it. We whine about it all day yeah. long. Yeah, you know, but you talk to your friends <laughs> who have kids, and, yes. and you know, so yeah, you see yeah. in the mainstream. Do you get into you know uh, sociological things like working class stay at home moms versus ladies of leisure versus working moms? I mean, there's different kinds of moms and how they treat yes. each other and that sort of thing. Yes, the play, you know, it it doesn't want to be didactic, but. There is a character who's from the 1%, and there's a character who's a community school dropout who works in an entry-level job. And I very much talk about how those experiences of being home with a child and maternity leave are very different. And you know, it's one thing to leave your child at a daycare you don't feel good about, and it's another thing to not be able to afford daycare at all. And it's another thing to mm -hmm. get to go to the $45,000 a year daycare. So I really kind of you know, get in there and talk about it's a so you know it's a socioeconomic issue. These choices we we tend to talk about them like they're just choices, but they're not. They're financial choices. Yeah, and big ones. And big ones Very that affect big ones. your life and your child's life. Yeah. So the Detroit, the Detroit Public Theater is in its fourth season. What do you like about it? Everything. Okay. <laughs> the Detroit Public Theater. I mean, I've flown here to be here for this. I just think they are doing remarkable work. But my favorite thing is that it's founded by and run by three women, which is almost unheard of. And you know, in terms of this actual play, there are also three women who are mothers, working mothers. Our director is a working mother. It, uh, a lot of people involved in the show are working mothers and and fathers. And I think, you know, it, three women running it. That's incredible. I, I want to be here. So, uh, having written for uh, TV shows like Orange is the New Black and Shameless, what is, what's it like to write for characters on the stage versus what we might see on TV or cable? Well, uh, my work <laughs> as a playwright is a lot like Shameless and Orange is the New Black in the sense that there's a lot of drama but also a lot of comedy. So, in terms of the writing, I'm drawn to very similar characters for both, but the big difference is you know, plays take two years to write, approximately, and you are doing sort of intensely slow and methodical work of bringing those characters to life. In TV, you know, right now, I've got three episodes of Shameless on Air that did not exist in June. Mm. You know, it is so fast. So you're writing mm -hmm. it, and then you're shooting it, and then you're in editing, and then it's up. So um, it's the, the primary difference is the speed. You know, it's just you learn these new muscles, and then you, you flex them very fast. Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. Take your time. Versus slow and methodical. Yeah, you know, writing yeah. a play is a little like writing a piece of music. It takes forever. Time. Forever. Right. Again, Cry It Out is showing at the Detroit Public Theater through December 9th. Thank you so much for being Thank with you. us. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for Molly. having me.